okay guys into this video we are going to do a data analysis okay you can also call it a data age analysis so before we go to our question i just want to give you a summary on what is all about data age analysis okay so this is very simple chapter uh, which i believe that everyone must get this marks so the purpose why we are doing this chapter guys is because you know that as our company when we do a sales some of the sales that we do is in terms of cash and some of them is in terms of credit so some of the customers that bought to us they buy cash but some they purchase on credit so when we sell on credit guys we have to know when are we going to collect our cash okay we have to have at least a policy as a company so that we know that this customer is going to pay in this day if this customer is not paying this day of course we have to put some interest okay because the customer is paying late okay now let's check this question so that you can have a better understanding okay so this is the one of the previous question paper uh, question 3 1.3.1 calculate the percentage of the total debt that have exceed the credit term of 30 days okay number 3.1.3.2 they said the owner this rule is concerned that the control over data has not been satisfactory she wants you as internal auditor to explain two problems highlighted by the data age analysis and provide relevant evidence for each name or figure okay then after that we've been given the information okay they say the credit term are 31 days in other words the maximum days that we collect as a company it must be at least after 31 days after a month okay then they give us a data age analysis on 30 june 2022 okay we have a name of the data then we have a column of credit limit for example uh zikaba credit limit is ten thousand, and the balance currently is sixteen thousand, which means that this person exceeded a credit limit okay tabete a credit limit is thirteen thousand, but the balance is nine thousand five hundred, which means that this a client did not exceed the credit limit okay and so on and so on okay now the first question they want us to calculate the percentage of the total debt that have exceeded which means that we have to check client that has exceeded what uh, 30 days remember they have to pay in 31 days according to the credit limit okay now 1.3 21 okay let's check if you check we have column for 30 days we have column for 60 days and for 90 days simple means that for credit that has exceeded 30 days is from 60 days to 90 days plus okay which means that in order for us to make it simple we have to take the total because uh, we can add one by one okay if you check the total for 60 days it's gonna be 3920 and for 90 days is 7840 we have to add these two together okay we're gonna add 3920 plus 7840 which is going to give us 11760 okay so this is the total that we are going to use because it's the one that has exceeded what uh, 30 days okay we have to divide it by the total of the balances okay if we check the total of the balances is 49,000 remember they said they are looking for what for percentage once they said percentage your formula must be multiplied by 100 must have multiplied by 100 okay so if you do this calculation you are going to get 24%. 24% is the one that ex exceeded a uh, credit terms of 30 days. Okay. 
1.3.2 sorry about that okay they said the owner is concerned that the control over data has not been satisfactory and she want you as the internal auditor uh, to explain two problems highlighted by the data age analysis and provide the relevant evidence for each okay for this one we have to identify the problem okay we're gonna have columns like this this side we're identifying the problem and the other side they said a relevant evidence okay evidence okay this question have uh, four marks okay which means that it's one one this side and the other side okay then the problem number one is obvious some clients are exceeding what credit limit which means that we're gonna say exceeding credit limit it's a big problem to exceed a credit limit okay then number two before we go to number two we have to put evidence why are we saying some client are exceeding credit limit let's check who exceed credit limit number one is the cover the cover exceed credit limit by if you take a 10,000 minus 16,140 is gonna give you 6,140 he exceeded a credit limit by this amount okay we can check another one again another one who exceeded is Musomizi because a credit limit was 12,000 but now the balance is 14,000 which means that this person has exceeded credit limit by the difference between 12,000 and 14,190 which is going to give us amount of 2,190 okay this one exceeded by msomizi msomi not msomizi <laughs> all right so number two uh, remember the credit term is 30 days but there are some people who are paying after 60 days and 90 days which means that it's another problem okay owing more than 30 days let's identify them who and who you can see on the table number one is zikaba Number two, uh, who also owe more than 60 days is Kumalo. Kumalo. Okay, you can also mention the amount. This one is 920, is by 920, and the other amount is 7,840. Okay, you can also mention for Kumalo. Okay, is Kumalo? Yes, Kumalo. Uh, no, no, Kumalo, no. But it's Msomizi. Okay, if you check Msomizi, also pay in 60 days. Okay, Msomizi, Msomi. Uh, the amount is 3000. So that's how you should analyze a uh, data age analysis. What do you have to think, guys? firstly make sure that <clears throat> you check the credit term of the company because the company have a different term some of them they have a different term of 60 days some of them they have for 90 days it depends of what kind of product that they are selling obviously if you are selling something like a food uh, the credit term must be 30 days but if you are selling something like a furniture yes a furniture uh, some company they can give you two to three months to pay so it depends on the nature of the company you have to make sure that you check a credit term before you do your analysis so data age analysis is all about collecting money from the customers okay so in if, even if you check other kind of question papers guys you will find the similar problems you will find the similar problems so i hope you're gonna get something we need come to data's age 
analysis i'm gonna see you on the next video don't forget to subscribe like and share with friends who are doing accounting so that they can also learn what you are learning see you next time